I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up on Mr. Hold up, Lil John. I got it. You now turned up with MrTelleferro.com, baby. Yeah. All right, LeBron James, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they're going to be looking to repeat at this thing. You know, they're the defending national NBA champions, and they're, you know they're going to be looking to repeat at this thing come late October is when the season's going to start. All right, it's Alfred Telefair, Mr. Telefair TV. But they might have another problem on their hands. We already know every other team in the NBA is going to be coming at them in Golden State this year. But the fact that we're at this point where J.R. Smith has – Still not signed his contract. The season starts in about three weeks. I don't know, guys. All right. So let me break this down, y'all, to my, the best of my ability. J.R. Smith has, in his career, made contract blunder after contract blunder. All right? Last year, he opted out and ended up costing himself money. All right? If he just would have opted in, he would have made, made more money with Cleveland. He opted out. He opted out. He ended up signing for a less amount a year last year. This year, he opts out again. Now, y'all remember back in June, July, when everybody, late June, July, when everybody was getting money in NBA free agency, right? Everyone but J.R. Smith. I'm going to tell you what he decided to do. He decided to take the LeBron James approach. Now, they're buddies. We get that. But you ain't LeBron James, J.R. Smith. Granted, J.R. Smith had an excellent season last year for his standards. Played defense for the first time in his career at the level that he did. All right? The thing is, he wanted to wait. And just, it was as if he knew Cleveland would take care of him. Like LeBron James does year by year. You know, LeBron James pretty much sits back and just, you know, waits. Y'all gonna take care of me. I'm LeBron James. Well, J.R. Smith, you got some clout on your name, but it ain't the LeBron James type clout. They don't need you, okay? So what he did was pretty much wait and and, and looking up. You look up now. It's it's October fifth, four fifth. All the money's gone in the free agency. So now it's like J.R. Smith, what are you doing? You went, you sat there and waited for all the money to be handed out to NBA team after from to NBA player after NBA player. And J.R. Smith's like, hell, I watched my teammate who sat on the bench pretty much the the whole season, Timothy Mozgov, go to the Lakers and go get four years, sixty four million dollars. And I know. I bring more to this team than he did to the Cleveland Cavaliers team. We won a championship with him on the bench, and y'all can't pay me? You know, he's looking at the market value. P players getting max dollar everywhere you look. You can even take it to Ken Baysmore. I would argue that J.R. Smith is more productive, a more valuable piece than Ken Baysmore is to the Atlanta Hawks. Ken Baysmore got max dollar. All right, I can take it all around the league with this if y'all really want me to. Y'all want me to? Because I can go bring up more players. I can bring up more pieces. And, and I can argue that J.R. Smith should have been getting paid more, more money than, than a lot of these players. A lot of this has been J.R. Smith's own demise, right? Not, you know, his attitude, you know, not making wise contract decisions. And now he's looking up like, damn, am I going to get paid? Now it's reportedly... Being said that the Cavaliers have given them their best offer so far. It's a four-year deal, three-year, $42 million, and that fourth year is a partially guaranteed contract. So we'll leave it at three years, $42 million, and dissect that. So that'll break down to $14 million a year. And it's not too much under market value. Again, remember that the cap's going to go up again this year. But for the, the, the year coming up, this, this season, Cleveland's going to be deep into the luxury tax, all right? They already stand at about, I believe, $22 million in luxury tax. Um, the Heat are the only team in the NBA more in, in deep luxury tax. And remember, they're going to probably lose Chris Bosh. He's going to actually be off their books in, in, in February, so they'll be good. So Cleveland will be, again, the, the team with the highest luxury tax. So you can look at this from both sides of the equation, all right? If you're the Cavaliers, you're Dan Gilbert, and your ownership, you can be like, look, J.R. Smith, you got to take whatever offer we give you. We know you're not leaving now. It's it's October. Will we? Can we test out J.R. Smith? Can we really try him and see would he leave us? This chemistry, this 
best position he's in in his life, all right? Playing with LeBron James, which makes everything better. Do we want to test him? Do we really want to see what his man believe us and we'll lowball him and give him an offer that's under market value for what J.R. Smith should be making if you look at his averages and you compare it to other guys in the league? Do we want to test it? I don't believe J.R. Smith will leave, honestly. So I think that's what they're doing here. They're going to run this out as far as they can. I believe Dan Gibbert is going to end up having to pay the luxury tax and just pay the man. He wants 15 mil, reportedly, is what J.R. Smith is asking for. But it looks like they're going to test them out as long as they can and see, will you really leave? Will you actually entertain other offers? Because, honestly, there's not a lot of money out there right now. Everybody was just handing out paycheck, paycheck, paycheck. And J.R. Smith was just chilling him and his agency should have really gotten the ball running earlier and took some offers took some calls jr smith might be top 10 one of the hardest guys one of the hardest guys to figure out his market value but i know it's damn well better than timothy mozgov at this point in the game a starting shooting guard on an nba championship team with knocking down three points at what better than 40 percent he's definitely definitely at least 15, 16, maybe 18 mil a year. He's worth that much in that market value. But if you're J.R. Smith's side, you, you're like, look, I ain't doing nothing. I'll sit out a couple games of the season. I'll sit out however long I got to. Chemistry's not going to be an issue. We pretty much brought back our same team. I know what my role is on this team. Look, I ain't doing nothing. You go play, you look, coming behind me are, are guys like Jordan McRae who maybe still need a year or two of development before they're able to step into that role. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just going to sit around. You going, you going to have to take care of me. You took care of Tristan Thompson. You always take care of LeBron James. You going to have to take care of me. But it's, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know if J.R. Smith wants to play that. Let's look at the Cavaliers roster, all right? Kyrie, max dollar. LeBron James obviously makes max dollar. Kevin Love makes max dollar. And here's the kicker. Tristan Thompson, because of LeBron James doing the same thing with Tristan Thompson last year, he even got him max dollar. All right, LeBron James came out and said, let's take care of this, and he just did the same thing with J.R. Smith. So if you think about it, that's a lot of money to be going over the luxury tax for a team that already got what they oh so desperately needed which was that nba championship i don't know if so dan gibber has always went the cavaliers owner has always went deep into the luxury tax in the past but that was because he always chased that championship that elusive first championship and now that he has it i don't know how committed he will be to keeping a championship product on the court every year again with lebron james he's going to want to play for championships so you would think that Dan Gibber would go in the luxury tax as much as he needs to. But, man, hey, Dan Gibber going in that luxury tax, he's like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm spending more money than I'm making here, all right? Like, where does this game end? I'm in the luxury tax every year deep in it, $40, $50 $50 million deep in it just to compete. We well, got a team like Golden State who ain't really even in luxury tax. That sounds crazy, right? That sounds crazy. So it's a lot of things going on in that situation. Yes, I believe that this deal gets done. And yes, I believe J.R. Smith takes the three-year $42 million deal. Maybe they go up another couple hundred thousand dollars and we end somewhere there. But yes, I believe J.R. Smith, he, he doesn't want to play for anybody else. He needs Cleveland just as much as Cleveland needs him. I want to say it's about a 50-50 split. They both need each other. You know, J.R. Smith takes a lot of slack off LeBron James in the regular season because he's able to, you know, stretch that floor out. And, and some nights, J.R. Smith's going to go for 28, 30 points, you know? 21 points, 22 points on five or six three-pointers. And pretty much you're going to lose if you're the opposing team because he was able to spread the court out, and now you have to stay on him, and LeBron James is going to be able to get whatever LeBron James won, not to mention Kyrie Irving is a superstar. It's just that's the that that is what it is, all right? So we'll see how this situation ends. It should be settled in the next week or so. If he's gonna try to get it one preseason game in, yeah, they're gonna have to settle it out soon and you know, pretty much figure something out. I just know the Cleveland Cavaliers are gonna be deep in that luxury tax again, man. I think the mistake, if you want to know my opinion on it, was paying Tristan Thompson max dollar. I get it. I get it. I, I don't know. Between Kevin Love and Tristan Thompson, I believe in the future somebody needs to go. 
That is my opinion. All right, I'm going to do a Cleveland Cavaliers breakdown in the next couple of days. I'm going to be doing all NBA 30 teams, and I'm going to be doing the NBA breakdowns on them and pretty much, you know, giving my, my season predictions for every team. All right? I go by the name of Alfred Teleferro. You're currently tuning in to Mr. Teleferro TV. And I got to thank y'all for y'all time, y'all supporting y'all love. Again, we're closing in on 25,000 subscribers. I want y'all to comment y'all responses below. Will this deal get done? J.R. Smith back to the Cavs, or will J.R. Smith have to start looking elsewhere? All right? To me in my comment box below, I go by the name of Avril Teleferro. You're currently tuning in to Miss Teleferro TV. Thank y'all for the love, support, salute. I'm out. Hey, first and foremost, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love if you watch other videos while you're on my YouTube channel. Now, while you're here, people ask me all the time, how can you support Mr. Teleferro? Well, if you want to support me in my future endeavors, the first thing I want you to do is subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you get all my content first. Your subscribe goes a long way. I get to understand my demographics, understand who support me, who got something out this video. So first things first, a subscribe will go a long ways. Next, if you really rock with me, donate a dollar to my GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe link in the description. If you really want to support me, just a dollar. Showing me that a dollar and some good wishes will go a long way. If you want to support me and you want to help me with my travels, I got a lot of things coming up, but I got to get them travel fees there. I got to find a way to get there. So that can help me financially if you really want to go there. Also, a word of encouragement. Thank you. Whatever it is, talk to me in my comment box below. Comment on this video, like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do this video. I got to thank you for your time. I don't take it for granted. My name is Mr. Teleferro. Now, if you subscribe, help, donate, do whatever, you can see more videos like this, more new exclusive content. I got a lot on the way. Trust me. Thank you. It's Mr. Teleferro.com.